Congratulations. Today, you're going to learn how to actually use AI to learn coding faster. But before you get too excited, here's the truth. If you let AI write all your code, you're not learning to code. You're learning to depend on a robot that will abandon you the second something breaks. And when it does, you will end up paying a real developer to fix your mess. The good news? There is a smarter way. I'm Pete and I've been coding professionally since 2012. My goal with this channel is simple to help you learn coding properly, stay motivated, and share the tips and tricks you will not find in a tutorial. And today, I will show you exactly how I would use AI if I was starting from zero the right way. The way that actually makes you a proper developer. My co-pilot story. When GitHub Copilot first came out, I ignored it. Honestly, I thought, nah, this thing won't work. It's just another gimmick. But then I started hearing more and more and more about it. And I got curious. So. I tried to figure out what it actually was. And that's when the paranoia kicked in. What if this thing really does replace me? What if all these years of coding are suddenly useless? Should I start thinking about a different career? And I know a lot of you beginners feel the same right now, wondering if you've picked the wrong path, if learning to code is even worth it. But here's the twist nobody talks about. Instead of running from it, I decided to learn how to use it. And once I did, I realized something important. Copilot didn't replace me, it made me better, but only because I already knew how to code. Why AI alone doesn't work. So here's the problem when you rely only on AI. Imagine this, you let AI build you a little web app. It spits out code, you copy paste it, and hey, it works. You feel like a genius. You tell yourself, wow, I didn't even need to learn anything. Fast forward a week, a user finds a bug, you have no idea why it's happening, so you go back to AI. At first, it gives you something useful, but the more you chat with it, the worse it gets. It starts contradicting itself, inventing errors that don't exist, or suggesting fixes that break other parts of your application. Now, you're frustrated. Your project is broken, and AI is slowing you down instead of helping you out. And here's the part most beginners don't realize. AI is not your personal teacher. It doesn't know your project, it doesn't care about your deadlines, and it's definitely not responsible when your application fails. You are. Or let's take scaling. AI can throw together a to-do list app or a login page. But the second you want 10,000 users, database issues, performance problems, security risks, AI won't magically know the unique details of your application. And without the fundamentals, you won't know how to fix it either. And I'll be honest with you, I have asked AI for a better solution to a problem. Sometimes it's brilliant. But when I just copy pasted the solution, nine times out of 10, I pay the price later. That's when I realized AI isn't a replacement for thinking, it's a tool for sharpening your thinking. And here's a good example. Last week, I asked AI to optimize a function I wrote. It suggested a cleaner, faster solution that I actually learned from. That's the difference. When you already know what's going on, AI can push you further instead of holding you back. And here's the kicker. AI wasn't built to replace developers. The people who created these tools made them to make themselves better. If you use it the right way, it will make you better too. Use it the lazy way, it will leave you stuck. The smart way to use AI. So Pete, you will ask, if AI alone doesn't work, how do you actually use it the smart way? I'm glad you asked my friend. Here's my five step roadmap, exactly how I would use AI if I was learning to code today. Step one, ask for explanations, not just answers. Don't just say, write me the code. Instead, ask, explain why this solution works. Train your brain, not just your copy paste fingers. Step two, use it as a debugging body. Paste your code and ask, why am I getting this error? But first, try to solve it yourself. Then compare, that's how you level up. Step three, scaffold, then study. Let AI generate boilerplate, the boring setup code. Then strip it down, rebuild parts, and understand the flow. Step four, ask why, not what. What's the code for this problem? Gets you a dump of code. Why is this happening? Gets you insight. Insight makes you a developer. Step five, use it as a documentation assistant, not a replacement. AI can summarize docs in plain English, but the official documentations Always, always, always the source of truth. And before we move on, remember this. AI should guide your learning, not replace it. Because shortcuts don't make you faster. They just make you weaker. Here's a challenge for you. 
The next time you stack on code, don't ask AI to write it for you. Ask it why it's happening, then try fixing it yourself first and drop a comment and let me know how it goes. I would love to see what you learn from it. And if you're wondering what skills you should actually learn first in 2025, I made a full video breaking down the step-by-step -step roadmap for beginners. I link it right here and in the description below. It's the perfect follow-up after this video, the hiring trap story. Let me give you a quick example of how this plays out. I've seen beginners use AI to build their entire app, a blog, a store, whatever. At first, they're buzzing. The app runs, they show it off, and they feel like they've cracked the code without ever learning coding. But then, reality hits. A bug shows up, or they try to add a new feature, and suddenly everything collapses. They run back to AI, but instead of fixing it, AI starts giving confusing mismatched answers that don't fit the project. And now, they're stuck. No fundamentals, no way forward. So what happens? They hire a real developer to fix their mess. That's the irony. Trying to skip learning coding just makes you need a coder even more. And listen, you don't have to figure this stuff out alone. I've got a Discord community full of beginners and devs helping each other every day. Link is in the description below if you want to join us. Here's the truth. AI is a tool. If you already know how to code, it's golden. It makes you faster, sharper, and more efficient. But if you don't, it turns into a hallucinating mess that leaves you frustrated and stuck. So don't let AI replace your learning, use it to accelerate your learning. Let it guide you, let it explain, let it debug with you. That's how you grow faster without skipping the fundamentals. And remember, the developers who built these AI tools didn't create them to replace themselves, they built them to make themselves better. And that's how you should use it too. AI is only going to get better, but that just means developers who know their fundamentals will be unstoppable with it. That's the position I want you to be in. And hey, if you want daily coding motivation, quick tips and a look behind the scenes, I share that all the time on my Instagram. Link in the description below. Come hang out with me there too. If you're serious about coding in 2025, use AI as your coach, not your crutch, because the skills you build today will carry you much further than any shortcut ever will. And if you want to know exactly how to start building those skills, watch my video on how to properly learn to code in 2025. I will link it here and in the description below. All right, if you enjoyed this video, hit like, smash subscribe, and share this with a friend who thinks AI will replace him. Also, leave a comment below. Let's go to boost your motivation or just say hi. Thanks for watching you legends. I'm Pete and I'll see you on the next one.